My name is Dominic Simpson and I'm a physics teacher at Eastbury School. I decided to become a teacher because, firstly, my love of science, especially physics, and I wanted to try and transmit some of that to students, hopefully in a way that they would like. Um, and as a result, I've enjoyed the variety that they bring and the, the fun, as well as the hard stuff, but mostly the fun that they bring into the classroom and the, the way in which they take things on board and, and make it work. The favourite part of my job has to be dealing with the students themselves. Within that, there's the doing of experiments and hopefully giving them some sort of basis from which they can move on and understand science, which in turn hopefully gives them a bit more leverage in life. One of the other very enjoyable parts of the job is the amount of holidays we get. It gives you a time to rest and prepare for the upcoming terms. Uh, I got my first job through uh, a contact I knew um, outside of the school which I eventually ended up working at. They said we were in need of a physics teacher and I liked the sound of the place where they were working and so I put in an application, got invited to interview and was successful in my application. The chances for career progression in teaching are quite good. Within science, there is often opportunities for you to move up to a head of department or the head of science overall. Outside of science, in terms of pastorally within the school, there is still scope for you to move up the ladder. Of course, it's often dependent on how fast you want to go. If you're very driven, then it's quite possible that you can move up quite quickly. It's, it's dependent on how you, how, how you feel, but there are always opportunities for you to move further up the ladder. My typical working day starts just before 8 o'clock when I arrive. In that time before school starts, I get the chance to tweak lessons or adjust equipment as necessary. Then I meet my tutor group. After that, the day consists of a five period day, each period being an hour long. And we can see students between the ages of, or the years of year 7 to 11. When the students go home, it becomes time for us to do some more planning and in many cases marking. In fact, the marking can get quite heavy at certain times of the year, mainly due to coursework or upcoming exams. As a teacher, you can expect to start off probably below £25,000 a year, and within four or five years, you will be earning over thirty grand a year. If you take on extra responsibility, then obviously that money increases depending on what you do. One of the most rewarding and enjoyable parts of the job would be seeing pupils who come in with a low level of confidence at the beginning of the year and through their hard work and my hard work at the end of the year you can see that they have really changed their, their outlook on science and they seem to have enjoyed it. I've been lucky enough for my work to take me all over the world. Um, with science and physics we are taking some students away to Geneva in Switzerland to go and see the particle accelerator in CERN. I've also taken part in the World Challenge expeditions which has allowed me to go to places such as Costa Rica and Honduras. Other places I've seen range from India, Russia, France and even Poole in Dorset. 